Hello, my name is Marcia Wilson. Today I'm going to be talking about Turkey. Um, the reason I did this speech is I want to inform my listeners. I don't just want them to listen, but I want them to hear and understand what I'm saying. I want them to leave today with a better understanding than when they came in. Um, I'm going to inform you guys of the cultures and beliefs in Turkey, and I'm going to give you a better overall understanding. Uh, a fun fact I wanted to give you guys today was the famous Trojan War that we've all read about and heard about in school. Um, that actually happened in Turkey, um, in the western part of Turkey. Um, actually, the Trojan Horse is still around that same site where it happened. So I thought that was kind of a cool fact. Um, my topic, like I mentioned before, is Turkey. Um, I'm just going to give you its cultures, its beliefs. Um, my purpose of doing this is to inform you, give you information and insight on Turkey and its beliefs and cultures. Um, my main point, or the main points I will be hitting is general information about Turkey, like facts about how many people live there, then culture, like how do they act, where do they come from, um, and last, uh, last, their beliefs, like who they believe in, and what drives them to do what they do every day. Um, knowing the relevance of this is knowing more about Turkey. Um, it can help you out in the future because knowledge is power. And now you know more about a place maybe you don't know or didn't like. Now you can pass this on and educate others. I have found um, a lot of these facts from TurkishOdyssey.com and from EveryCulture.com is where I've gotten these facts from. Alright, and to start us off, I'm just going to give you some general information like I mentioned before about Turkey. Um, the capital of Turkey is Am or Ankara. The population is about 73 million. The languages they speak there are Turkish, Kurdish, and uh, Arabic. Sorry about that pronunciation. Alright guys, I just want to show you this. This is the Turkish alphabet. As you can see, it is similar to ours, um, with a slight change that they use duplicate le or duplicate letters like A B C C. They also have two G's and two O's and two U's and two S's. Um, it's similar to ours, but I just thought that was kind of cool to show you guys how it's um, close to ours but a little bit different. Thank you. Um, a fun fact is that the culture's name came from the ancient word Turk. That's how they got the name Turkish. Many years, or many years, most of the citizens called themselves Turks, um, no matter what their backgrounds were. Some other non-Turkish groups, um, such as like the Kurds, the Arabs, the Laz, and the Georgians, expressed two identities, which means they were called both their prior name and like. Turkish. The Turkish or the Turkish culture is very heavy in like artistic, like they're heavy in sculpting and painting. This right here is a Turkish painting, and the reason I chose this one to show you guys is because it shows a lot about what the Turkish are like, what they're heavy in when it comes to art. They're very abstract. Um, they like the use of many colors. Um, and I thought it was just a really cool painting to show you guys. The culture isn't much different from many of our cultures here. Um, many of the surrounding countries, um, their main religion is Islam. Um, they heavily believe in Islam. About 97.4% of the Turkish population is Muslim, and religion cannot be a part of their political process or education. Um, so religious parties and faith-based schools are banned. However, religi religious sensibility are generally represented through conservative parties. So, what I meant by that statement is their beliefs there are like very strong. Like their beliefs is like the strongest part. Like their government can't even stop them from believing. So that was the main point I wanted to give their beliefs is what they believed in, which is Islam. Um, they also have Christian or Christianity over there. Um, but the biggest one is Islam, and they believe very strong in Islam. Their beliefs is like their life. This is a Turkish monastery. I want to show you guys this, because like I mentioned before, they have many religions over there, including Christianity and Islam. 
So I wanted to show you this Turkish monastery and how it resembles a lot of our monasteries here, um, just in the overall design and the making of it. To conclude today, I just want to go over the main points again. Um, my main points for general information, just to give you some insight on how they lived and just get better affiliated with what they do over there. Next would be culture, where they originated from, how they came to Turkey, and beliefs how they believe who or what drives them to move on every day. The reason I chose Turkey as my topic today was to inform you of a place you might not know of, um, to open your mind to a place that you might not think of, and to educate you about these places. I want you guys to pass this knowledge on and see if you can educate others. And do you know the people who need to be educated the most? That was actually a trick question because everybody needs to be educated more. Everyone needs to be educated. Not just on what happens in the USA, but everywhere on earth because you never know what could affect your life or what has already affected your life. So it's good to learn about other places other than the U.S. Um, it's good to learn about other religions, other places, to broaden your horizon, even one place at a time. And I'm just glad today I was able to give you another place to add on to that education process. I want to thank you guys for listening. My name is Martez Wilson. Hope you have a nice day.